as president of the Galaxy Alliance Council, it is my duty to convey the charges against the accused. Former Sky Marshal Herbert Wade, you are charged with insurrection for aiding and abetting the enemies of the Galaxy Alliance. You are charged with treason for the hijacking of Voltron and the attempted destruction of Earth. Add to these crimes kidnapping, illegal imprisonment, and sedition for engineering the original Voltron malfunction to take power of our defense forces. It's about time that came out. We will break to deliberate and reconvene shortly with our verdict. Guilty! He's guilty! So guilty! Wait, guilty! C -c 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 guilty! What? My lucky conviction dance. Save the moves for the dance floor, big man. No way Wade gets off. Doesn't it bother anyone that he's not even trying to defend himself? Anything that Snart says would only make it worse. He's going down. Uh, anyone seen Vince? He can't miss this. You're missing Wade's going away party! Uh, what's with the new tiara? It's a prototype for my MindLink interface. Something I've been tinkering with as a way for the pilots to be better connected to Voltron's control system. <laughs> cool. Careful, Daniel. It's not finished yet. Don't! You know what, Daniel? You're the king of bad ideas. Daniel? Ugh. All his vital signs are normal. Whew. But I'm not detecting any brain activity. Daniel, come on, wake up. My head. Where am I? Uh, okay. The accused will rise. Herbert Wade, for the crimes you have committed against the Galaxy Alliance, we find you guilty on all counts. Add this to the list. That spider creature? It can't be. Voltron's gone? No, I'm not. Daniel? Dan Tron. Yeah. As long as Daniel's condition is stable, there's hope. Keep me updated with any changes. Unfortunately, I have more bad news. Wade escaped. Seriously? What? No way. Somehow he's been working with that cocooning row beast that attacked Eris a while back. You mean the lighter row beast? What? Part lion, part spider? Uh. Sure, for lack of anything else to call that monstrosity. We need to track and mobilize immediately. It should have a Hagarian signature to trace. I'll go to the control room. You guys get to the hangar to prepare the lions. I have Voltron assembled in there for a diagnostic. Your gizmo worked! A million times better than you thought it would! This wasn't the plan. We gotta get your brain back into your body. Why would I want to do that? We've been working to pilot Voltron. Now, I am Voltron. So, uh, see ya. Daniel, wait! Uh, found Daniel's brain. I'm feet and legs! I'm arms and body! And I'm also the head! Daniel, do you read me? Is your comm functioning? Don't believe it. Well, we can sure hear him. Oh, he can hear us. He just never listens. 
to me anyway. As soon as we get back... Was that...? Lance, what are you guys doing? In the castle control room? What's going on? Long story. Well, actually, not really so long, it's just weird. Hello, Earth! What to do first? Skate grind the Great Wall? Glacier surf Antarctica? Wait, I know. Always wanted to laser write my name on the moon! Repeat, Earth Transport 721. Requesting emergency assistance. Cool. My emergency scanners are active. Well, I guess playtime can wait. Duty calls, and I am the defender of the universe! Meteor shower approaching! Float like a giant robot, sting like a road beast. To be of service, citizens. Have a nice day. Daniel, I know you can hear me. Pidge ran a diagnostic on your comm system. You're just not listening. <sighs> kind of busy defending the universe here. Daniel, it's Keith. Respond now. Oh, uh, hey, Keith. Just testing the capabilities of Vince's invention. Danny boy, you're actually the robot? <laughs> you have to tell me what that's like. On the land scale of coolness, you'd need a new chart. Daniel, Wade has escaped. Return to the castle so we can go after him. Well, since time is a factor, I'll go after Wade myself. I'm remotely accessing your data. Ah, a Hagarium trail. I'll handle it, Keith. Dantron, out. Daniel! He didn't listen to a word I said. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Well, this stuff looks familiar. Daniel, what's happening? Voltron's power levels are all over the map. This place is full of Hagarium webbing. But don't worry, it's not enough to save Wade. Daniel, don't go in there! Knock, knock, Wade. Welcome, Voltron. I'm so glad you found us. <laughs> I don't know what you are now, Wade, but you might want to get back in that hole, because Voltron's coming at you. I know your voice. The troublesome cadet has somehow become Voltron. And the snark bag Sky Marshal has somehow become an even bigger snark bag. <laughs> I remember when Iowats controlled Voltron. Intoxicating, is it not? The power to puppeteer the defender of the universe. If Voltron were to merge with us, our might would be unmatched. Sorry, I hate spiders and jerks. Four blazing sword! Uh, not good. Ah, can't form your weapon? Guess you'll form with us. was designed for the cadets, which is not awesome. Tron. Hang in there, hunk. We're closing on the coordinates of Daniel's last transmission. I'm getting awfully high Hagarium readings from the whole cluster. That's gotta be where Daniel is. I've discovered a complication with Daniel. The longer his mind stays in Voltron, the more chance he'll permanently bond with the robot. And the harder it'll be to get him out. So what'll happen to Daniel's body? Antelura, do you read? I've been monitoring your communications. Daniel's body is... Whatever you guys are doing, do it as fast as you can. Let's get in there! Punch it, hunk! Roger that, boss! <laughs> it is pointless to resist. Come on now! Need a weapon! <sighs> Maybe a little reconfiguration action. Four, red center! Uh, guys, do you read? 
I can't access Voltron's powers. I need your help. Ugh. Hey, wait. This will work. Give it up, son. It's time for us to become one. For you and Voltron to feel the full power of Hagarium. Yeah? Well, feel these. tricks of my own. Face it, Wade. You're just too slow. Huh? And you're too weak. This is Hagarium country. What drains your power only makes us stronger. Need to reroute power. Somehow. Daniel to Vince. You read? Hey, buddy. You out there? Attempting to hide as a giant robot is futile, foolish boy! He, she, it isn't kidding. Well, if there's no flight, it's gotta be fight! Save your energy. We will need it! <laughs> Which way? I'm picking up Voltron's power signature, but I have to warn you, it's very weak. We'll take what we can get. You don't suppose? Unfortunately, I do. Voltron's trapped inside that ball of web. Awesome Tron, charge your weapon systems. We'll blast them out. Hold on. We don't know Voltron's condition. A heavy attack might damage the robot or injure Daniel. <sighs> I hate it when you're right. Who's got a better idea? We could move in for a closer look. That won't work. This is the same Hagarium weapon we couldn't break with conventional weapons when this thing attacked Eris. There was only one thing that had any real effect. Vince. Looks like this thing's upgraded itself by absorbing ships. So I guess... Voltron is next on the menu. This thing and Daniel and Voltron are in some kind of mental stasis. Their brains must be merging before their bodies follow suit. Daniel, if you don't wake up, I'll pound you conscious. That's not gonna do it. Someone's gonna have to go in and get him. I'm talking about me. What can we do? I think we should try to break the physical connection between Voltron's body and Wade. Or this spline. Lighter. That I can do. Good luck, Vince. Here goes something. Cool. <laughs> Stop fighting us. Surrender Voltron or be destroyed. Endeavor. So I've learned. Of course, he resisted at first. 
But then I realized the strength I gained by merging with her. We have been able to hear each other's thoughts and coordinate our future plans. Evil plans? For some time, our connection was beyond my ability to comprehend. But I had a lot of time to think while I waited in jail. Our bond really grew there. Now we will merge with both. And your friend. Which leaves very little use for you. Voltron, and you never will be. Daniel, listen to me. You've got to come out of Voltron. No, I don't. I am Voltron. It was just a power failure. That's why the weapons wouldn't work. No, Daniel! Voltron was trying to tell you something. No one person was meant to control it. You... you're right, Vince. You all right? Yeah. I should have listened to you, buddy. <laughs> Why start now? How was the meeting of the minds? I got him. Let's blast out of here. Way ahead of you! Slash and burn are already clearing a path. That spider is still attached to Voltron. We need to activate Voltron now. Forget it. The big guy has been completely drained of energy. Need another plan. Fast. I got an idea. Pitch, Vince, let's blow us up a lighter. Oh, man. Not Awesome Tron. Pitch, Vince, join Hunk and Awesome Tron. <laughs> we can't hold this thing out forever. Awesome Tron, if you're going to do something, do it now. We're doing, we're doing. Setting Awesome Tron's generator to overdrive. It's working! Begin phase two! <laughs> Hurry! It's got us! Absorb this, lighter! Fools! You have only made us more! The brains did good. The weight spider is reforming. We need to finish weight off. I don't like it any more than you, but we gotta get Voltron home and Daniel back in his body. Shine, Sleeping Beauty. I'm sorry to everyone for everything. Uh, Ow! What was that for? Just to make sure you're really in there. 
Learn your lesson? <laughs> Learned. I'll listen next time. You better, Daddy. What'd you say, Liz? Huh? I didn't say anything. I said that out loud. Uh, no. But I just heard it in my head. Can you hear me? So, this is gonna be weird.